Hello people of YouTube, my name is Matthew, and today we have a little bit of a different discussion video. We're going to be talking about this guy, Mechagodzilla. Why Mechagodzilla? Because I want to talk about why I personally think, or I'd rather have, Mechagodzilla be in Godzilla King of the Monsters, or like why I would rather have him in that, that film, even though it already released, as opposed to GVK. Now, let's narrow it down. The reason why, and I think this was confirmed by Michael Dodry, uh, Michael Dodry, the director of Godzilla King of the Monsters, the reason why Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Rodan were picked out of the various monsters wasn't necessarily because, okay, maybe it is part of the reason, but it's because those were Toho's big four, Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidorah. That being said, I personally believe if they went the extra mile to get a fifth monster, believe it or not, that fifth monster is none other than Mechagodzilla himself. That's why, to date, he's been in nearly every single Godzilla series. He's been in the Showa series, the Heisei series, the Millennium series, and if we're actually going to count... And actually, yeah, I think even the Rewa era series, technically, because we had Mechagodzilla City. In a city on the edge of battle, even though that wasn't technically Mechagodzilla, I don't know. But the point is, he's so he's so worldly known in the Godzilla world that it's okay. How, basically, my point is, they should have went the extra mile to give us a fifth monster from Toho's Big Five, and that would have been Mechagodzilla. And how I would inter interpret him into the monster verse, like Godzilla Two Wives, is have him be a secret weapon that Monarch has secretly been building since 2014 for for pretty much viewing and scientific purposes to monitor the kaiju better. But then Apex comes along and hijacks it, and then you can basically tell where this is going. It's almost like what happens in King of the Monsters, where they hijack a monarch base and kidnap uh, Emma and Madison. But here's the thing. If we're talking fights here, I would want to have maybe a fight between Godzilla and Mechagodzilla more towards between the events of the Rodan and Ghidorah fight. Like, here, like we see Mechagodzilla being driven by Apex... On their way to track Godzilla, I guess. And then Godzilla comes in, and then that's when a fight between Godzilla and Mech Godzilla occurs. Godzilla gains the upper hand because this is in the water. And then we see Godzilla win, and then he looks over there. That's when Ghidorah uh, is charging at the, the Argo, and then Godzilla swoops in and, and literally whoops okay i don't even know what i'm talking about okay i'm just kind of envisioning fights i don't have a full story of how mac godzilla could be interpreted but those are just kind of some ideas and for the final fight i would want kind of the same thing we got until midway where godzilla loses the upper hand and Ghidorah gains it gains the upper hand and then just as soon as Ghidorah drops godzilla that's when mac godzilla shows up he shows up to defend Godzilla. This is when he's driven by Monarch. And then Ghidorah and Mech Godzilla have a one on one. Uh, and then M Mothra somehow does her thing, whether it be one of Godzilla's, be uh, one of Ghidorah's beams shooting at Mothra. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But basically, what I'm trying to say is I think Mech Godzilla should have been in Godzilla King of the Monsters because he's part of Toho's Big Five rather than with these two. So, Lee, so, okay, uh, so yeah, what is your thoughts on this? Because honestly, I think it would have been a better fit. But yeah, we all know at this point, Mechagodzilla is going to be in the movie, GVK. But I'm just saying, I love Mechagodzilla and Monsters. I love him in GVK, but I think he would have been a better fit in Godzilla King of the Monsters. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and see you guys next time.